Gates the popular Cincinnati Entertainment District and whether the bars are playing by the rules of the pandemic. Thanks for joining us. I'm Daniel Muddy. And I'm Natasha Paloma. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields is live in West El Paso with how many citations came out of the area related to COVID-19 restrictions. From the start of the pandemic last year in March to just this month, Cincinnati area bars have racked up 27 citations and violations from El Paso law enforcement. While some businesses have returned to some sense of normalcy, they must continue following emergency ordinances. The area in itself, I think, is, uh, uh, has always been looked at uh, by the TABC and also the El Paso PD as an area for the entertainment and, uh, of course, this is where the bars are. So, Frank Ritchie, owner of Rock and Cigar Bar, making up five of the 27 citations cited for mask and ordinance violations. KTSM took a look into which businesses in the area violated orders and how many. This is what we found. El Profe had 11 citations and warnings for operating after hours and no masks. The Palomino Tavern with four violating capacity and social distance orders. Rock and Cigar Bar had five, as we mentioned. Champagne Villain, five as well, breaking ordinance and social distancing rules. And Good Times violated the stay-at-home order once. Well, as much as we'd like to get everything back to normal, uh, we can't, and, uh, the, and uh, it, it, it's a little difficult. You'll remember early this year, curfew orders were lifted, allowing businesses to stay open past 10 p.m. Other emergency orders are still in place place such as mask and social distance mandates but now with barn restaurant doors open it's up to the patrons to follow the rules to keep it that way it seems to be getting a little bit more lax a little bit not not uh, not crazy but uh, uh, it does seem like it's, it's a little bit more lax people are a little bit more thinking that we're getting a little bit more into our, our normal lives we also spoke with the Kern Place Neighborhood Association telling KTSM they support law enforcement cracking down on ordinance violations in the area. You can read more on their response on our website, KTSM.com. Live in West El Paso, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News. Right, Stephanie, thank